From Africa to Omaha, KETV Newswatch 7 is there as a freelance photographer infected with Ebola hops on a gurney with hopes doctors here can save his life. He's enormously relieved to be here. Waving to his parents as he was wheeled off. But it was really wonderful to see his face. But how to treat him is still up in the air. All things are being considered. Hopeful for another success story out of Omaha in the fight against Ebola. Good evening, I'm Melissa Fry. I'm Rob McCartney and for Adrian Whitsett. Right now, staff at the Nebraska Medical Center are evaluating Ashoka Mukpo. The journalist from Rhode Island became infected while working in Liberia. Today, a specially equipped jet transporting the 33 year old landed at Epley Airfield. Ashoka was then rushed to the Nebraska Medical Center's biocontainment unit. KTV News Watch 7's Chindone is there live with this developing story. Robin Melissa, Ashoka Mukpo has been undergoing tests since he first arrived here about nine hours ago. His parents got to see Ashoka wave to him from a distance as he was being wheeled into the biocontainment unit behind me. They say their son has always been passionate and strong willed. Now they're hopeful his determination will lead him to a quick recovery. A safe landing that could save a life. Inside this specially equipped jet, 33 year old journalist Ashoka Mukpo. Straight from Liberia to Epley Airfield, as his parents were waiting. We had been really hoping that he was going to be air evac'd before his symptoms became problematic, which is exactly what happened. He, he left before his symptoms became bad. Dealing with the fever and some nausea, Ashoka was able to walk off the plane, then rushed to the biocontainment unit at the Nebraska Medical Center. He's enormously relieved to be here. Of course, it's still quite frightening, but he's hanging in and he sounds very strong. Ashoka's parents say the patient isn't sure how or when he became infected, but he recalls a crucial moment. He was disinfecting a car in which someone had died and working with a few people to do that. But right now, the focus is on Ashoka's recovery as staff give him fluids and monitor his blood chemistry. We have two nurses in the room. Uh, with our patient at all times, and it's dependent, but vital signs, for example, are being taken at a minimum, usually every one to two hours. Lab work has been three to four times a day. Also determining the best treatment to cure Ashoka, while keeping in mind those lessons learned from their first successful patient, Dr. Rick Sacra. Part of the assessment will be looking at whether or not um, those experimental therapies are appropriate to his particular circumstance. Every patient is different in terms of their, um, again, risks and benefits. And staff here say as far as the facility, not much has changed since Dr. Rick Saker was cured of Ebola. However, there's now a new lab inside the biocontainment unit. We're told it's now safer and more efficient. Now, coming up at 6, hear the pleas from Ashoka's parents before he left for Liberia and who will pay for his medical bills. Reporting live at the Nebraska Medical Center, Chindone, KETV, Newswatch 7.